Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Blackjack and Hookers in Europe Universe House 4. Alright, so I spent about 10 minutes here just looking around at stuff and thinking and uh, counting Aragon's provinces because for some dumb reason, this is the way that the number of provinces interface works. It's a stupid graph with arbitrary numbers that change depending on which countries you have selected and stuff. It's stupid. Anyway, um, there's a restriction on when you can integrate uh, this country now. They have to have less cities than 32, meaning I'm assuming 31 or fewer. Um, which means that uh, we can't allow air ground to grow too much if we want to form the nation that way. Um, so, I think that at some point we will integrate uh, Aragon. But, I think we're going to feed them a bunch, of, a bunch of France, basically this whole area here, in this trade node, preferably. We want to get into the Genoa node and uh, do that with Aragon, I think. It's nice having their troops, it's nice having their manpower pool and their leader uh, pool, although he is a 6000, which is weird. It's un un very unusual for a general to get rolled that way. As far as idea groups go, I've spent a lot of time looking through here. Naval is completely crap. We're not going to do that one. Quantity is a good it's a good option. Um, quality, eh. It's got three that are naval related, so it's kind of meh. Defensive actually looks very good, um, but we're not going to take defensive. Offensive is something I'm definitely going to get at some point, I think, because it's just too good. But what we're actually going to take is Aristocratic. Because Aristocratic is going to give us a few things that are going to kind of like work better with the strategy that I'm trying to employ in this campaign. Number one is it's going to give us the um, extra diplomat, which is going to be great for improving relations and you know trying to, trying to play the Game of Thrones. Second is that it's going to give us military tech cost minus 10%, so the earlier in the game you take it, the more it kind of pays for itself. I mean, we still have potentially um, 22 military technologies available. So uh, 22 techs times 600 base times 10% is what it's going to save us. It's going to save us 1,320 monarch points. So one way of looking at it is that, like, this idea group right now, uh, this idea group, basically, even though normally it would cost 2,800 points to take an idea group, because it's going to save us that 1,300 some points, it's actually like a discounted ID group. I, I highly, highly, highly value things like military tech cost minus 10%, or the diplomatic one, diplomatic tech cost minus 10%, or the innovative, uh, no, administrative, administrative tech cost minus 10%. These things are so, so good. They're, they're really, really powerful. And then also, I love the idea of just having this leaders without upkeep, and the policies look pretty good. The exploration combo, diplomats plus one, diplomatic reputation plus one. Again, that kind of just plays right into what I'm trying to do. So we're going to take Aristocratic now. Uh, we'll go ahead and pick up Noble Knights right away. And that will also give us Treasure Fleet, Provincial Trade Power Modifier plus 10%, Global Tariffs plus 15%, and uh, Cavalry Costs will come down a little bit with a little tiny bit of Cavalry Combat Ability. Also, I have not really seen much convert... Uh, some... that yeah, words. I have not seen very much evidence to prove this, but in the past, in my experience, having Hostile Core Creation makes the AI less likely to attack you because they look at your land and they feel like a player would, that it, it looks like it's bad land, like they would rather attack someone that doesn't have that. We are accommodating the natives. That's good to see, I guess. Let's just grab these guys. I fixed my keyboard shortcuts mod, now I can mothball and unmothball navies again. Let's see if, I want to confirm that I, uh, yeah, cool. Mothball key does work on that as well. Glad to see that got fixed. And these troops are going to come down to probably about here-ish. Castilian Peasants, Canarius, again, 4%. Our legitimacy is coming back slowly. How are we doing on relationship slots right now? I think we actually have yeah, six. We have military access and a royal marriage with Portugal. Um, Portugal. What's going on with Portugal, do you think? Tuscany's 60 years old still with no heir. On Monarch Death, uh, random Tuscan noble. They don't have any royal marriages. Neutral attitude toward us. You know, if we had a... a, a that's annoying, too. If we had positive opinion, or if uh, I had more diplomatic reputation here, this would be an opportunity. Very good one, too. Tuscany is you know, part of Italy. That's some good land in there. Look at that. 15, 24, 25... This one's under siege by something. 33. Ooh, 
I want it. Of course, having a, a neighbor in the Pope would be disadvantageous, but still. We're now officially ahead of time on administrative technology. We can change our focus in five more years. Just getting tired of this damn rebellion. Truce with Portugal is up. And they have only secured an alliance with Provence, which means that we are ready to start attacking Portugal as well. I don't think I actually ended up fabricating any claims on them, did I? Well, we certainly want to take over the land that they have in the Sevilla node. You know, another button I haven't really used is uh, this Threaten War. Let's try using that again. Relative strength of the alliance, base value, province is not extending core, relative worth of province. Who could we use this against? Could we try using it against Mali? Almost. Interesting. Oh, that's annoying. So, because Dagbon is a vassal, they are being integrated. Oh, it'll be done in August. Great. We'll just wait till August, and then we'll just threaten, threaten Songhai. Or try to. I don't know if they're actually going to say yes. So what else can we do to make this guy more likely to accept? Just relative strength of the alliance. That's the only modifier. So the stronger I get. The Pungo Beasts. Before we went on the expedition, we had heard tales of an explorer by the name of Hano. We found an island populated with hirsute and savage people. Cause people to gain ferocity? I don't really care about ferocity at all, so... However, monarch points are worth more. And if I could convert it, yeah. I would definitely convert 120 ducats. If I had a button to convert my money right now into monarch points, of course I'd do it, so... Okay, extended privileges for the borer, the burgers. Burgers lose loyalty and influence, or we get tons of autonomy. That sucks. Autonomy's dumb, we're not going to do that. That's a lot of freaking loyalty. But it's going to have to go. We can get them right back up for f the cost of fire prestige. And I feel like that's worth it. So we will. We also do need to steal your, get some di diplomatic support from you. It's about time for that. That'll put them right back down to where they were. Huh. Civil War in India. Alright, so this one is now finally officially taking down the Castilian peasants. Good. And it's Newt Bay. It's new. It's causing issues. It's, uh, which province, though, specifically? El Jebu. Okay. Well, we're working on that. Unfortunately, I brought just one too few troops to actually be able to deal with it. We have a new colony available. Sure, by all means. I'd love to have provinces already adjacent to us that's got high development. We've got to attack the natives in the New World. If I don't do it soon, somebody will. What do you think the chances are of uh, this rebellion firing when it's got 0.1%? This faction has a 0.1% chance of increasing the progress. 166.6 years. So you're saying it's not very likely. Is that what you're saying? I I'm getting the impression you're saying it's not very likely. Scorchin is free. Now it looks like the Timurids exploded. Or no, it was the Golden Horde. Okay. You know, somebody. Georgia just gave a whole bunch of land to the Ottomans. See, that's why you should have fallen into a union underneath me. Although they've done well. Oh my gosh. So their capital is here. It says Georgia. Georgian Central Asia. <laughs> Exclaves, right? Anything still going on with Tuscany? Yeah, check 
Tuscany's still, uh, oh. Yeah, nothing's changed there. They will accept a royal marriage now. I think it's well worth it. If he's 60, 60 some years old, we, we've got to try for it. Even if it puts us over the relationship limit. It does hurt our legitimacy, which is going to cause the noob guy to have more unrest now. Oh well. Shall we raise our stability up to one? I'd probably prefer for the clerical dominance to go away first. That's ten more years though. Never mind, there's a free stability event right there. Well, I was considering clicking it anyway, so wouldn't we want to be at level two? I do think it's worthwhile. Despite the 15... I would. I mean, I'm not going to wait 10 years for it, so... Sure. By all means. Level 2 stability. Make everything go away. All the problems will go away. Thank goodness. It's just the Tlemcenis and Figwig. So if these guys lose any troops at all, then they will accept a demand. Songhai. Not even close. Relative strength of the alliance plus zero? Seriously? You think you're that strong? There's no way. Wow. Very well. Need some more force limit. We need to build some buildings that give force limit. I think it's about time for that. We should also be using the autonomy map mode to determine which provinces are the right ones to build it in. So Toledo, uh, Cuenca, and we're already out of money. Awesome. Don't need to be at full maintenance anymore. Yep, everything's still coming down. Excellent. We can actually go down to zero maintenance. It's a beautiful thing. I do not want to have more than five inflation, so let's get rid of that. That is a snap decision. Definitely worthwhile. The right decision. Now, we did get the access to, to these two things between this episode and the last. Um, I'm not going to do this because the provinces that we have that aren't the right religion are all part of the trade company. So they don't really seem to be affecting us in any way. Still, um, I think we do want to fabricate a claim on Portugal. We'll go for probably Porto and their capital first. Lisboa is definitely the cream of the crop. If we had to get one, it'd be it'd be Lisboa. But we want both, I think. We were already discovered. Well, in that case, we might as well cancel. Start over again. Not gonna make it take four times as long. Free base tax. Cool. Not uh, not for us. That was I think just a random province that got it in the New World. We're exploring right now. But man, did they ever find us quickly. Uh, I wish we could rival Portugal now. But they are not eligible. What's... is there spy deficient... spy offense? They operate at 5% efficiency, and they're defended at 7%. Hmm. No, there's no way that's going to pay us back. Alright, great thing about having our troops actually, like, free is that we can actually go to war with somebody. We've done our mission. Rival of a rival, make the Ottomans like us. A base in India. Trade efficiency plus 30% for 10 years. And all we have to do is take Korchin. No, not not that. Kachin. Janagar on Tech Nine to our Tech Ten. They are far away. They're allied to 
Two countries that don't matter too much. Vijayanagar has how many troops? 30,000, but no manpower. I'm assuming that we're getting this mission because it is within colonial range. Yes. Yeah, that seems pretty good. How much how much effort would it take to make the Ottomans like us? Quite a bit. They want my provinces already, so... Yeah, we'll take that. I was hoping. Uh, the other thing we could try doing again is looking at our guys. So, Congo is at 48%. If I wanted to take this land, I could. I don't think we, we will, though. I think we've already decided Congo is probably something we're not going to do that against. Um, and also these guys, you know? If it's not like an important estuary or something, there really isn't really that great of a benefit to it, is there? So Aragon is already at positive 200 opinion. Relative power. <laughs> 68%. I mean, they're just very strong. We would definitely want to support them. Um, if we actually go to war, we'll do what we can. This is part of the node. Sayuta and Melilla. Should probably try to get both of these. Still haven't been caught in Portugal. Tuscany, still ticking, 61 years old. Uh, we should probably check on that to see, like, it should. I don't, he had no other royal marriages, but, yeah, noble from our house. Succeed to the throne. Let's hope. Cross your fingers. Norway will cede a bunch of land to Scotland. Okay, um... Well, we either, we either need to go to war with these guys, form the colonial nation, go to war with India to get the 30% trade efficiency, or go to war with Portugal. For We need to attack everywhere, basically. The easiest war, I think that Aragon's going to be able to beat Portugal for us. So let's not worry about having an army on the Portuguese border. Let's take an army to the New World. We now have all rebel factions at 0%, which means that this army doesn't need to be here anymore either. We're going to go pick up and go to the New World. And then soon-ish, I'm going to go work on Vijayanagar. The fact that he's got zero manpower is uh, its tempting. See, he's murking up. He must be in a war right now. No, he's at peace, and yet he's murking up. Well, the 30% trade efficiency would be pretty sick. We'll see. But for now, we're going to the New World. <laughs> Don't tell me what I can and can't do. I'll just unmoth ball and then click the button, you stupid game. <laughs> Alright, I need more na I, need, I need more land force limit is what I need right now. I'm going to continue to build the uh, regimental camps. 206 ducats. We're not making as much money as I'd like. Forts are rather expensive. And it's not even enough to keep them, the army tradition high. They can gain aggressive all they, all they want. I don't care.
Okay, I'm going <clears> to <throat> take a break here then, and we will go to war with the new world in the next episode. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.